going on, guys? I am really not feeling this little doofy thing. They fucking they gave me like a muff or some shit like that. I might just fucking start tying my hair into a top knot so it stays out of my fucking head. Anyways, so uh, we'll just do this real fast and then be done. So, yeah, like, look, I, I would be shocked if she was surprised to find out that I waited this long and he just started fucking other bitches. No, like, since she started being indiscriminate, I started fucking other bitches. Right? As a matter of fact, I was fucking other bitches in September. Like, just before I left to see you, I fucked some other bitch. And, like, and, like they're, like, not, like, different random bitches. They're, like, bitches I've already fucked. We kind of have a thing going on, but, like, we're just not dating. Um, normally, like, the other day when she, when one of them was here, like, what, 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 what it was was, like, I hadn't heard from her in a while. And then I get a call from her, and she's like, no, no, you don't like me. I hate you. And I'm like, yeah, whatever. I don't give a fuck. And then she's like, well, do you want me to come over? I'm like, uh, I thought you were with whatever. So, well, sh don't worry about that. It's over. Do you want me to come over? I'm like, uh, I guess so. I'm kind of just studying. And then, like, they come over, and, you know, I let them up, and they're like, you have a change. Blah, 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 blah. I'm like, oh, okay. So I pick them up, and I throw them on the bed, and then we start fooling around and whatnot. And actually, what it was was, um, kind of funny because they were like no no so i started like all right well i mean i'm not gonna force you so i started like backing off and she like grabbed my hand and like put it on like the zipper on her skirt so i could unzip it and i was like oh okay you're still just playing along no but and then like this is the thing like it's just if it like half the time i'm like i don't even know why i know these bitches other than we just have sex because it's like it was nine or ten o'clock and then i throw her on the bed and all that shit and all of a sudden it's like one or two o'clock and i'm like what the fuck i have to finish taking my uh practice quiz i'm doing my practice quiz and all that bullshit and she's like well do you need help no do you want to talk about no i'm doing my fucking practice quiz shut the fuck up for like 10 minutes so i can do this shit and i'll take you home why don't you come over? You don't even care about me. Why did you come over? Well, I haven't had sex in a while. Uh, that's normally how it goes, right? So all this like, Tiffany bullshit, I knew she was up to something from day one. Because even crazy bitches don't act that way. She had an agenda. That's why I got the feds involved. It's just taking longer because she's well connected. I don't know how else to say it. But on that note... Um... I, 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 I'm only calling her a ghetto whore because it annoys her. Like, I, I, those dumb motherfuckers don't have the funds, the attitude, the aptitude, or the fortitude. Did I say fortitude? I said aptitude. Aptitude, money. Like, they don't have what it takes. They don't, all right? Um, it just annoys her. And at the same time, every single time now that she does some collaboration bullshit, she'll have to remember, she'll think about me fucking some bitch I met on Tinder because she wanted to play games. I have to go collab. I, I have to put my soulmate on hold so I can go collaborate with these douches in the ghetto. Oh yeah, go ahead and do that because I'll fuck some other bitch. How about that? And once she goes, once you make an iTunes song about me fucking some other bitches, but we're still soulmates. You ghetto criminal ass whore who is an American citizen, and no matter where you go, they have jurisdiction over you. You're stupid. Anyways, how does she get this stupid? On some level, I feel bad for her because she has no fam. Look again. I don't. I don't want to get into it. You have to look up, up on, on your own how her mom passed away, but I'm assuming that it's because her family is so overbearing that all they do to each other is find ways to take leverage over on each other. All right? Like, she's been doing this shit to me, and I'm assuming it's her family dynamic. Oh, well, you have to let me do shit. I have all your money now. Ha, 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 ha. I better do what I say. No, how about I get your ass arrested? Yeah, you, you want to know what? That's my family that dynamic. My grandpa arrested his brother, who was, I won't go into it all the way, a mafia high up motherfucker, because it made the family look bad. So he arrested his ass, threw his ass in jail. It was a whole family thing. But I was like, not even going to be born for 50 more years, and already shits. Anyways. But anyways, I'm not, I'm not getting into that bullshit. Alright, but, yeah, I have a great grandfather who's a shoe repairman, but has like a mansion. A bootlegger, allegedly. All that bullshit. Anyways, um, look, again, 
You really want to know why I didn't go see Espa in Brooklyn or Tiffany when she wanted me to go to Brooklyn or whatever the fuck? I went to Manhattan instead. I'll say this once. I'll say it again. I can't say it too many more times. If you go President Street in Brooklyn, even though all those old timers are basically dead now, that used to be the most monitored block in the fucking country. And my family members basically ran that whole shit. So, like, I cannot go into Brooklyn because alarms will go off and people will follow me. I can't go to Manhattan without being followed around by the cops. All right? It's annoying. Anyways. So. Now, the other day I was talking about how, like, uh, social engineering and all that, and I put on the hat at Booz Allen and all that bullshit. Do you want to know where I got that from? This is how you know that Tiffany is, uh, no matter how much money she steals or attention she whores around for, how you know she's always going to be a broke ass bitch is because she has no emotional connection to anyone. She just can't form an emotional co uh, connection because she has too much family trauma. All they do is try to screw each other over and then say they love you. That's all they do. Anyways, so um, the where I got my um hat thingy from when I was babysitting my niece who I love very much, not in a weird way, in like a, you know, family way, I would have her watch the old cartoons like Care Bears, Adventures in Wonderland, Alice in Wonderland. And in there, the Mad Hatter puts on hats, does all these songs and dances, and becomes a new person every single time he puts on a hat. So, when some random person asked me to do some social engineering bullshit on the top of my head, I just remember the time I babysitted my niece and watched those crazy cartoons, so I put a hat on, and I was the Mad Hatter for a few minutes, and then I went home and hung out. I mean, so social en engineered. I was aware of that because I cared enough about someone other than myself to put time and energy and effort into them. And the reward I got was not monetary and it didn't even reveal itself to me until almost 10 years later. That's called caring for someone. Tiffany does not know what that concept even means. She doesn't know how to care for someone. All she knows how to do is sing and dance and prance and whore around because she comes from a shitty family that your family pimps you out to ghetto losers who uh, like these fuckers that she hangs out with, all of them, all of the ones that I've looked into, they're essentially Uncle Jesse from Full House. Uncle Jesse was cool and he was edgy and he had Aunt Becky, but you want to know what else he didn't have? His own fucking house. He lived in the attic and the basement of his sister in, of his sister in law's house. Or brother in law's house. Uncle Jesse didn't have shit to his name. I'm not gonna be Uncle Jesse. Tough shit. That's why she's parasocial. Everything she's learned is from TV. That's why she thinks these douchey losers are relevant because they're still on TV. No one's on TV anymore. TV was TV is almost a hundred year old invention at this point in time. Why are we still using it? We aren't using laptops from if a laptop is five years old, we throw it out and get a new one. How, you, you've kept this thing for five years. How the fuck could you do that? But we have the same technology that we drive and watch all day long. You guys are fucking stupid. Go be on more TV. Go waste your life. Go be a used up ghetto whore. No one cares. Literally, no one cares. Okay? Like, I broke up with my poly thing to go see you, and I came back and I just fucked them again. I was like, oh, hey, yeah, it didn't work out. You want to come over? Oh, shit. Uh, let, me, let, me, let me make a video. Just go ahead and close the door. Don't make any noise. Because I never trusted you. I told you I don't trust you. You begged me to trust you. I said I don't want to trust you. You gave me that shitty link. I played along, and you're probably going to go to jail now. Because no one cares about you. It's sad, but it's not my responsibility. You have not showed me anything that I should do anything other than keep on fucking other bitches, predominantly the ones I've already been fucking, and if I find a hot-ass Asian, Asian one that actually wants to settle down, I'm all for it. Believe it or not, most of these bitches don't want to settle down. They want to bitch, cry, complain, come over every now and then and get fucked. And then complain about shit. They're like, well, all we ever do is have sex. Do you want to go somewhere? Well, uh, uh, do you want to pay for it? Not really. I mean, like, if you can sell me on it, sure, it's not that much money, but I want to sit here and do my studying and hang out and whatnot, 
because we're not really dating. You just came over because you're horny, and I was like, I'm horny too, so I'll go ahead and I'll fuck you. It's called being an adult. You still live in dorms and have handlers. You're not an adult. You're just old. You're middle-aged, and you are a used-up ghetto whore, okay? In 2015, Tiffany Young was the it girl of Korea. In 2023, she is the used-up whore who can't give it away and writes songs about a guy she's obsessed with that she met as Stephanie who never called her back because she's mid and fucks other bitches because she's a cunt and steals from kids. Your mother misses you very much. But I mean, this is why she left. Peace out.